Welcome to Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com. Marshall High School's safety is proof that with determination and motivation, a true athlete can overcome just about anything. Football is a game where communication is key. Players talk to each other, coaches talk to players. But here on the Marshall High School team, one player has to overcome more than just the opposition. Yeah, after I was born, um, I got sick and then I became deaf. DeAnthony Mayberry is a free safety for the Marshall Buffaloes, but being hearing impaired hasn't stopped him from giving 100% to the team. DeAnthony is a big part of my team. Uh, even though he has a, um, a hearing problem, but also he makes plays. He's humble, he works hard, team player. DeAnthony's link to team communication is Charlene Smith, his sign language interpreter. When they are in the hot box, learning plays, discussing plays, watching film, on practice. During practice, I'm actually on the field, in the middle of the field, in the midst of everything that goes on, so that everything the coach is telling them, I'm there to tell him. If he has a question, I'm there to relay his question to the coaches or any of the other players. Um, it was a little challenging. I had to get, just get used to it. Um, um, knowing who to talk to, when to talk to, uh, who to look at, and pretty much I just said, I'm, I'm coaching DeAnthony, so I'm going to talk to DeAnthony. So when I talk to him and, and coach him, I talk to him. He'll look at her and get the signal, but I really just talk to him. I don't talk to her much. I just I talk with him. DeAnthony has had an interpreter during his entire four years here at Marshall, but there was no such luxury when he started Little League when he was younger. Um, my friends were basically teaching me the different things um, when I was playing Little League because I played with um, Lamar Hornets, Little League, and my friends basically taught me. I didn't have an interpreter. And then so they started teaching me like I would follow the actions that they did. By the time he got to high school, he knew playing football at this level meant he'd have to really convince people that his athleticism is not affected by his hearing problem. Yeah, because a lot of people would think that I couldn't because I'm deaf, but um, I, I wouldn't worry about what people say. I just did it because that's what I want to do. Marshall quarterback Alan Osabage was also a freshman four years ago when DeAnthony joined the team. Uh, I really thought he was going to, you know, be that guy who just wouldn't, wouldn't play, who just wanted to come out and play football. But when I found he had talent, it was like he wowed me. Like, wow, fast, strong, he could pick up fast. So. That was, that was really what I thought at first. Four years later, we're still back in it. You know, I, I have no doubts in the game. It's crunch time. You know, I know he'll, he'll come through, no doubt. What helped was changing his position. Before high school, DeAnthony was used to playing running back, but he's found that safety is a better fit. Yes, I really like playing safety better than being a running back. It's easy for me because I could be able to see the whole field. Like when I was playing running back, it's kind of hard for me to hear everything that's going on when everybody's talking. But being a safety, I'm in the back. I can see everything and then everybody communicates with me. I have a good um, relationship with my team. We work together. We're real close. And, you know, when everybody does a good job, we congratulate each other. They're like my brothers. I don't know, he jokes around a lot. We understand what he's saying. I mean, we've been around it for four years, and people, they judge him because he's deaf. They think he don't know what he's capable of doing, but he's very capable of doing a lot of good things for the football team and in school. The Buffaloes started this season with a new coach. DeAnthony says that's not only been a positive change for the team as a whole, but also for him individually. Yeah, because most of the time it's like, I, I felt like the other coaches before didn't really want to let me play because it was like a little problem trying to communicate with me. But he's very much willing to involve me in everything. Actually, it's not anything I even think about. I just do it. I mean, sometimes I just start, you know, yelling at him or coaching him, and then she just picks right up. She's always there. She's got the hang up. She's been doing it for a number of years, so it's really pretty smooth. Well, he's just like any other student. He just happens to be deaf. But... Um, He's just as talented as the rest of the guys, and so it's a great opportunity for him to be able to live out his dreams and be able to do the same thing that all his peers do. DeAnthony is also a great student, and his future definitely looks bright.
Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. He's being recruited. Um, colleges are, are definitely talking with him and watching his video and wanting information on him. So he's a good football player and would be a great asset. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, my goal is to eventually be able to go to the NFL if possible. And then just become successful in life and whatever I decide to do. Hey, we, hey, we gonna need each other, man. Straight up. Hey, together on three, together on three. One, two, three, together. Thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com. I'm Cynthia Nickerson.